Hey, what is up, everybody? I hope everybody's been having a great week. Um, we've been taking a little bit of time to uh, get our sales done this week, and also we've been having a little bit of problem with losing some of our footage. Um, unfortunately, we did try to put a video up on Wednesday. It did not work at all. Um, we're not exactly sure on what the problem was, but we think we have it figured out as we did go buy another SD card. Either way, yesterday, Cassie got a dumpster score. Uh, we've been going to what we call our honey hole dumpster right now as they keep it open. It's not locked. There is a lock on it, but it's not locked and they keep throwing lots of goodies in there so just show you guys uh, she got a monitor a Dell monitor it's from 2004 and these are all the goodies that came out of it there's the cords there and the boards which are just obviously low grade there's nothing really on them I took the aluminum heat sinks off that I have to do those but yeah I got some aluminum off of it this is the yoke off of it. This is off some spools. And then there's the degaussing cables. And then these were also on the yoke. But yeah, not a bad little score of copper there off of that. And also in the dumpster, she keeps getting these different furnace parts, which are pretty cool. This is uh, like a gas valve. And got some really nice wire here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely going to have to be stripped. And a bunch of random wire in there. Same thing, some of these will have to be stripped. So I take the ends off some of them. And there was all these in there, little like, transformers. I'm assuming this is some part off of a furnace that they must have to replace quite frequent. And then there was this. Big guy here. I'm just gonna take that off there. Nice motor. And then on her way back home, um, right across from the McDonald's, uh, yeah, these are from the furnace pieces too, little pieces of brass. But all this copper wire that I've stripped already, and then all this here that I still have to strip, I don't know if you guys can tell, but some of it's real brittle because it was on the side of the road. <laughs> So Cassie stopped at the McDonald's that's on our side here in the East End and she ran across the highway and grabbed it. It was a big chunk of Romex. So I cut it all down into manageable pieces and I've been stripping it all there. Quite a bit though, not a bad little score from the side of the road. And she did all this in about uh, not even 25 minutes, half hour, she got all this stuff. So pretty good score. And she also scored these two items, which that item right there, the hair curler blow dryer thingy, it works perfect. It already sold for five bucks. Um, this we're gonna post today. It's one of those uh, like ab workouts, something like that. But yeah, probably try to get like 10 bucks out of that. It seems to work good, instead of scrapping it or anything. And we're gonna stick all this copper in our copper hoard which we are saving up still for uh, a little while until we need to use it anyways so here is our copper piggy bank we keep it all nice and sorted there's all our nice bare bright thick wire this is all from like yolks and that kind of stuff, any kind of copper spools, transformers, and then there's a couple um, different little planter things that are pure copper, and then some nice sheet copper. And then there's all our nice copper pipe, just stuck into a box. There's all our degaussing cables from different TVs and stuff along with these um, these are all copper we do have a few chunks like this that are the aluminum 
wire, but these ones are copper. And there's all the little nasty bits. <laughs> I guess with a heat sink, which is pretty heavy, but that's all pure copper on there. So there's even some jewelry in there. You can see that? That's just a big chunk of copper. Silver plated copper. So just throw it in that bucket. But yeah. Not a bad little amount there. I'd say there's probably getting close to being 30 to 40 pounds, something like that. But yeah, we're just saving that up for a rainy day. And yeah, that's our little dumpster score from last night. Now, Cassie does plan on maybe going out tonight to go check it again as... I don't think anything's open this weekend because it's long weekend for Easter holidays. And we'll also be probably going up to Valley Village tomorrow. And on Sunday, we'll be doing our sales update and our three months of saving change. So we hope everybody's out there having a great day, pushing their dream, pushing their passion. And we will see you guys soon.